Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to this series, Fun Facts About Fasting, and today's episode two, all about how does fasting help against cancer? So the theme for this week is looking at how does fasting help against very common, but unfortunately very severe type of conditions known as cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, arthritis, and many more. And as you've seen from the title of the video, Today is all about cancer. We know how devastating tumours can be. The notion of cancer is, is a scary thought, it's a scary word because in the UK alone, every two minutes somebody is diagnosed with cancer, leading to nearly new cases of around about a thousand a day, which is scary to even think of. And to contemplate the notion that millions worldwide diagnosed with cancer, going through cancer treatment, going through the bears and sometimes horror of having cancer in their body in some type, there's over 200 cell types in our body, so you can imagine how many different types of cancer there can be. So the whole notion of trying to reduce our risk where possible is something that we all welcome. And believe it or not, fasting is a really pivotal way to do just that. So let's look at a few points on how does fasting help against the fight against cancer. So we're looking at fasting in terms of cancer prevention, fasting as an actual combative treatment, so as a cancer therapy treatment, and then looking at the mixed results about these two actual approaches. Now in terms of cancer prevention, we know that a lot of tumours, they initiate because of a very pro-inflammatory environment somewhere within the body. And a lot of that, a lot of those toxic environments occur within our body due to a lot of oxidative stress. So a lot of damage to ourselves, whether it's from poor diet, whether it's lack of exercise, sometimes stress in terms of how we think. All of that is damaging our body in some way, shape or form. And the more we damage our body, the more kind of environments we are triggering or forming that tumours can actually start to initiate. So the more we can use antioxidant capabilities, the more we can detoxify parts of our body, the better. And fasting is a great way to do just that. And something I'll talk about for the rest of this series is, is something that's free. You don't have to buy, you don't have to obtain anything. It's just a change in the way that you eat. And that will help to boost very certain antioxidant enzymes in our body. So SOD is superoxide dismutase. And it's a very powerful enzyme in our body that helps to detoxify, get rid of those free radicals, those oxidants that are very known to cause cancer. The pro-inflammatory environments get detoxified, get cleaned up because our body is not focusing on what's coming in. It can get rid of, it can focus on getting rid of the nasty things in our body. And something, another fancy word known as apoptosis, which is programmed cell death, is something our body uses to get rid of cells that are damaged. Cancers love to shut down that process so then we don't actually, our body's not looking around to okay, what cells are damaged. But fasting helps to boost that capability so we can get rid of the cells that should be deleted, if you want to use a better term, get rid of or destroyed. That those damaged cells, if left unattended, will start to form cancer. But funny enough, within the research, and a lot of the research papers I'll be looking at in this series are commented down in the description per episode, and within this one looking at cancer treatment, there's actually a lot of evidence to look at how does fasting help to alleviate the side effects of common chemotherapeutics. It's not as substantial as fasting to help cancer prevention, but there are some interesting studies to look at how does fasting work in conjunction with chemotherapeutics. But this has to be looked at in the form of a common sense approach because you would not advise somebody to just do a 24-hour fast whilst they've been given their first dose of a very potent anti-cancer drug. You know, that's just something you wouldn't do. But forms of fasting has been shown to maybe alleviate certain symptoms over time. But again, this is on particular treatments, particular types of tumours, and particular patients. So to finish off with, there are mixed results on how does fasting help as a combative cancer treatment. But there is overwhelming evidence to look at how does fasting help in terms of reducing our risk at the very least to form cancer and something that has overwhelming health benefits versus minimal side effects is something we would all love to do and it's not something you have to buy not something you have to obtain it's just a change in the way that you eat so we all want to reduce our risk of cancer of course and fasting in whichever form has been shown to help reduce our risk and i'm sure that's something we all want to do so thank you for joining this episode and i'll see you in episode three tomorrow. Take care.